Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Miss Planet. Before we get started, just want you to know, our flowers have arrived. They are available in our Amazon store. If you want to head on down to the description or click on that little button up there, it'll take you right on over there to them and you can shop to your heart's content. Thank you so much for those of you who have already purchased them and have told us what you think about them. I'm so glad that you love them as much as we do. Let's get started with this week's episode. So this week I have a request from a community member and her name is Fiona and Fiona has similar problems to a lot of our community members. They have wonderful ideas, but can't figure out how to put it all together. So Fiona sent me this beautiful basket of all her little goodies she has collected and, and wants to be able to in, uh, incorporate into a centerpiece with pictures and, you know, obviously she's inspired by Breakfast at Tiffany's, which I absolutely love myself. So this week, we're gonna put all of these ideas into a very economic, tall Tiffany Jewel Tree Wedding Centerpiece. I'm so excited to share it with you. Fiona, are you ready? Okay guys, let's get started. So I decided to use a tree that was not already colored or glittered. That way you can see that you can paint it and glitter it whatever color you would like. In this case, we're using Tiffany Blue. So we simply spray painted it a little bit at a time and sprinkled the glitter on as the spray paint was wet. That makes sure that everything stays in place. So to create our base, we are using a five inch cube and 12 by 12 blue glitter paper. Again, this is just up to you. You can pick any color paper you would like. We're doing a Tiffany theme, so that's what we're doing. I'm gonna create a guideline so that when I take my cube over to my paper cutter, I know exactly how wide it needs to be. Now that I've drawn my guideline, I'm going to take it over to my paper cutter and just cut a strip off, ready to apply it to my 5 inch cube. So we're simply going to place our paper on the table, set our cube on top, and bend it on over, and then you can attach it with glue. Now, because I'm short on time, I used hot glue, but I would strongly suggest you use just your regular Elmer's glue. Next, we're gonna add some rhinestone clear strip sticker to the sides of our box, so it just adds to the Tiffany gift theme. Now that our base is done, let's go ahead and decorate. We're gonna sit our tree right in the center. You don't need to glue it down, just sit it in the center. It will be stationary as soon as we attach our roses. We're going to add to the jewel theme by creating this beautiful rhinestone embellishments. First, we're going to use some 18 gauge floral wire. I'm going to simply put a hook on the end of it, bend it facing down, and then I'm ready to attach my rhinestone flat back.
Well, Fiona, how did we do? I absolutely love it. My daughters are like, I want that one. <laughs> I hope you love it as much as we do. If you like this, please go ahead and like us, subscribe so you can be the first to know our videos are posted every single week. And by all means, if we can help you with a project, head on down to our description, click on the project request link and follow the easy steps. I would suggest that you do it sooner than later because our production schedule fills up so fast and I hate telling anyone no. In addition to that, if you would like to follow us on our social media, please be our guest. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And if you have not already signed up for your Rakuten account, formerly known as Ebates, what are you waiting for? It is awesome. They pay you to shop. Simply go down to the description, sign up for your account through that link. When you're ready to shop, sign on to your account, find your vendor, make your qualified purchases, and receive a check at the end of the month. In addition to that, don't forget to check out our MissPlanetShop.com. You can click on it right there in that little corner because we have some awesome DIY digital downloadable planning guides. We have worked so hard to make sure that we give you all of the steps you need to create the wedding, to create the party, to create the event of your dreams. And in addition to that, we also have a new binder on there just for maid of honors. So they know exactly what you need to do, what they need to do to help you create the wedding of your dreams. So if you haven't gone over there and checked out our digital download, downloadable uh, planning binders, please don't miss out. Well, our time has quickly come to an end. It always goes by so fast. I want to thank all of you for just tuning into us this week. And those of you who tune into us every week, we are so appreciative. We know you have so many options on YouTube and we just want to thank you for choosing to spend that time with us. We also want to thank you for your comments and don't forget we're here to answer your questions. I answer your questions personally. It is not another one of our team team members. It is me. Now, does it take me a little longer sometimes than I would like? It absolutely does. But I'm always so encouraged by our community that steps in and answers those questions uh, for me before I can get to them. So I want to thank everyone in our community just for being there for each other. That is what it takes, period. Well, guys, until next week, always remember... When every penny counts, count on this planet. Take care of yourself. See you soon. God bless.